reverse racism, or uh, as you put in your uh, in your article, uh, the high price of stale Still, grievances, yeah, yeah. the double the double <clears throat> standards. Yeah, I think um, this is this is increasingly a problem, especially for our, for our politics as a country. The way I think of it, I mean, do, do, do you remember the Sarah Jong controversy where the New York Times yes, hired yeah. Sarah Jong as a, as, a, as a writer who had a history, a several year long history of tweeting really vile things about white people, um, you know, celebrating the fact that white people might stop breeding, for example, things that would be recognized as straightforwardly racist if they were said about black people. In fact, Candace Owens retweeted she she copy pasted sarah jong's tweets but replaced the word white with black mm. and got banned from twitter almost oh, instantly wow. and then re reinstated which i think wow. is telling it yeah okay so so yeah i don't i mean so i'm not saying sarah jong i think in the context in her social context those kind of tweets are not to be read as statements of eugenic intent or you know, there's a kind of coded language that they far far left social justice warriors kind of use as a more of a signal of of their wokeness rather than a really a commitment to to exterminating white people. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that <clears throat> if you're if you're sort of t a typical middle America white person who watches Fox News and you voted for Trump, maybe you don't like everything about him. But uh, and and you're you're watching Fox News and you see New York Times hires writer who has said that she wants white people to stop breeding. And New York Times did not apologize for this. I think nope. Uh, you you just have to imagine how that reads to the typical white person who perhaps has concerns about immigration, about a changing country. Um, and the the way in which they feel that there's nothing left for them on the left mm -hmm. right like at this mm -hmm. point you have the biggest left-wing newspaper the most respected hiring a person who is just shamelessly hiring a person without apology who just said the most vile things about people that look like you and this is this is a huge problem for our politics i mean you have you have to wonder why so many people are, 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 are Trump supporters who know that Trump lies a lot. They know that he's a, a scummy person, but they don't care because look at the alternative. I mean, the alternative is just a, a, a half of the political spectrum that celebrates their non-existence. That's a problem politically that is only getting worse and worse. And um, I, yeah, I, th I think it's just, it's just, we, we have to be willing to call out anti-white racism and we can't, we can't settle for redefining the word racism. I was going to ask, cause I've heard people say there's no such thing as reverse racism. <laughs> yes. That, I mean, that is the most, I mean, that, imagine like you could do this with any word you could, you could read Let's just redefine mm. the word murder to only mean when you kill a black person. We could do that. We could decide, we could just decide to come up with a different word, but you can't change the underlying ethical status of an action by redefining it, right? Like racism, what you, know, you just call it something else. It's still just as bad as it was yesterday when you change the terminology. So yeah, this is an incredibly silly thing that's been done uh, with that word. Yeah. Um, and it's having terrible consequences for our politics.